All right, let's take a screen capture. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Ken Eels, photographer of Marilyn Ruth, saying hello, people. And in this video, video I'm going to talk to you about waterproof cameras and housings. And Canon makes one camera that is supposedly waterproof. It costs about $300. And it's the PowerShot D30, and I thought I would do a little video about it. Because not very many companies make cameras that are waterproof. And let me say it again. There's very few companies that make their cameras water resistant, not to mention waterproof. So I thought I'd make a video about this one. The, the only one that I'm aware of that Canon makes. Now, obviously, um, there are companies out there that make housings from Canon and Nikon and Sony and whoever else. And that's a different subject. But I'm talking about the cameras themselves being waterproof. So let's take a look at Canon's quote-unquote waterproof camera that sells for uh, $300 or 300 has a manufacturer suggested retail price of $329.99. So possibly $300, depending on where you get it, of course. And it's very beautiful. I, have, I mean, I don't think I have screenshots. That's, that's pretty. I mean, it's a beautiful-looking camera. I like the blue. I like the gray. I like the white. The black. It all looks very nice. Uh, it goes from a 5 millimeter to a 25 millimeter with an aperture of 3.9 to 4.8, which is, a, I mean, for a camera of this size and type, it's not too bad. It's got a little bit built-in flash here, um, which probably isn't going to be that powerful, but, you know, for an underwater camera, and, you know, this, is just, this isn't like you're going out professionally scuba diving and taking pictures. I mean, all you could take with you Um This is for kids in the, who want to take some pictures, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the local swimming pool or in your pool at home or in the lake where you're not going to be going, um, going in super deep. I mean, if you look at the camera itself, first of all, it has a GPS, which I really like, built-in GPS, which is cool. But it is waterproof 25 meters, uh, which is 82 foot, which... Yeah, you could go scuba diving with that, but most sport diving goes up to 100 feet or 110 feet, depending on whether you're using, uh, going by YCM, YMCA, or PADI tables. But I know that as a certified uh, YMCA diver, the dive tables only go down to, uh, or the recommended dive table only goes down to 100, 100 foot. So, could you use it? Yeah. Would would you want to? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You could, uh, if you don't mind, maybe wasting three hundred dollars and something happening at something greater than eighty-two foot. And if you're diving at a hundred foot, uh, you're taking your chances. Now, more than likely, it's rated for more than they're saying because normally they have a twenty-five percent. It's rated for twenty-five percent more than they actually say when it comes to water resistance uh, or waterproof. But is that the case? I don't know. Um, could it be damaged at 83 foot? Yeah. Uh, could it go down to 100 foot and still be okay? Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's just a lot of possibilities. Um, but having said that, if you keep this within the pool, like, like your local swimming pool, which is about 12, if you were diving well, probably 12 or 18 foot, at the most, most most pools have a diving well of about 12 foot. Some of them go up to 18 or... So, this is easy. If you, if you take this to your local, local swimming pool and use it at your local swimming pool or your pool at home or your, your local lake or on a boat, it's going to stay waterproof. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. And it's going to take some not bad pictures. Um, it's a good video. Um, and, uh, I think it looks really neat. And the fact that it has built-in GPS is even better. Of course, when you have something waterproof, you're, obviously you're not going to be in a studio. You're going to be uh, taking it, um, to different places where Jeep, you're going to want, you're going to want to geotag your pictures more than likely. Um, so it's got a, 
You got the reviews overall. It's got 3.8 out of 5 overall reviews. Let's look at some of the other pictures before I go to that. This is the front. I think it'll look, I think it'll look really, really neat. Here's the front straight on. There's a 5 times lens or a 5 or 25, 5.0 millimeter, which is actually a fisheye, which is ironic because it's an underwater camera. But, um, so you have 5.0 or 25 millimeters, which is still wide angle. So you're going to be able to get, you're not going to be able to zoom in real far. You're going to want to, you're going to, you have to get pretty close to the action or the people because you're going to have a wide angle uh, experience with this camera, no matter how you do it. But I like I like the hand grip. I like the way it looks. I just I think they did a really good job of aesthetics on this camera. The back looks neat as well. It's very simple, very elegant. I like again you know, I like the grip the, the thumb grip or wrist. And you've got you know you got your you can um, look through your pictures and magnify them and you got your settings. Of course you got your on off button. You got your photo video button up on top here. Um, so just uh, a neat looking camera. Of course, what comes with it, you got your camera, your, your flat battery, <laughs> your battery charger, of course, a lanyard to put on your wrist. Uh, I've never been real comfortable with those skinny lanyards, but it's better than nothing. That's one thing I don't like about them. They have the real, they have the real nice cord up here, but then they come down to this little itty bitty, real skinny cord. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's, I personally, if I was going to have something like this, a camera like this, I would want something a little bit thicker than this part. This part of the lanyard right here is going to be. Uh, let's let's see what it has to say here. Deep water shooting without a case. Uh, basically, 82 foot or 25 meters. Uh, so let's go back and see what else we can find here. Some specifications. Image capture. 12.1 megapixels, 2.3 inch CMOS sensor, uh, total pixels of 12.8, 12, but you're going to get a 12.1 megapixel image is what you're going to get. Uh, so that's what really, really what you want to be aware of. Time of recordable movies, let's see what... Okay, so you're going to be recording at 30 frames or 29 frames, or actually 29.97 or 23.976. Um, so there's, there's a lot of information I can sit here and read to you, but you're not really interested. The main thing you want to know is 82 foot um, waterproof, 12.1 megapixels, um, has a built in flash for photography. Uh, again, it comes with the camera itself, a battery, a battery charger, and a small lanyard, which I don't like the lanyard, but... Uh, if you want to, you can download the brochure. And, uh, there's some reviews. But, uh, overall, it's a neat little camera. Again, it's not high-end professional, but it's... If you're going to give your kids a little camera to take to the pool or to the lake or when you go fishing or, you know, a family vacation, just to get your uh, casual snapshots, wide angle, um, shock resistant. So if you drop the camera, it should be okay as long as it's not too far. And if it gets wet, it's not a big deal because it's waterproof to two feet. This might be the camera to get, you know. Or if you just want a little pocket camera that does video, uh, that you don't have to worry about getting wet, or if you drop it, it's going to be okay. Um, this could be the camera for you. And it's got, again, it's not, it's not an expensive camera, so it's approximately $300 to $330. You 
depending on where you buy it, and uh, it's a neat little camera. So, there you have it, the PowerShot D30, Canon's only, that I'm aware of, waterproof camera. So until next time, I'm Canon Yellow Star for Rail and Ruth, and thanks for watching, have a good day, God bless you. Bye.